Hey Virgos, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be doing your videos for the month of May. Uh, let's talk about your meditation. So I heard that song, I feel so bad, I can't remember who it's by, maybe the Beach Boys, I don't know, but it's that line about, um, we'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow, that's where we want to go down to Kokomo. <laughs> so that came through in your meditation. So what I saw was, I saw the Virgo Collective writing something down in pencil and then erasing it and then going to perfect it and then redoing it, it was, it was a lot of revision. And then I saw, and it was like on a piece of paper with a pencil, and then I saw you guys take the, the paper and just, it was actually like a notebook actually, and throw it into a big bonfire, and then go and sit down on this beach, and I heard, re, and then I heard the song, restructuring, reframing, throwing the playbook out the window, and starting from scratch. It feels like the days of, for you guys in particular, that the days of perfectionism or feeling the need to get it right, in quote, I feel like you guys are, that those days are, are, are done, are gone. And it's a beautiful thing because I feel like you guys are entering into a time and you're starting to see that you can do everything, quote unquote, perfectly and to the letter, as it were, but still, Life happens, and there's. I feel like you're you're waking up to the reality of just how little we have control over in this way. But it feels really positive, and it sets within you this beautiful freedom to just do it live and live your life. And you're you're realizing that like actually, not only is tomorrow not promised, not not in a dark way though. Like to, not only is tomorrow not promised, but the plans of tomorrow are not promised. And since I understand now that to be the case in such a newly you know, fully realized way, I am going to live, honey, my best life. And I'm not as concerned about the dotting of the I's or the crossing of the T's. I'm more concerned about my own enjoyment and sitting with myself in my own space and energy and dreaming up great things that serve me from an emotional and creative place. Stunning and gorgeous. Let's see what your animal energy is, my beautiful Virgos. It just feels like it feels really good. And it feels like I'm seeing the image of a cauldron that's bubbling and something creative is coming out of it. Like it's like bubble, bubble. But instead of toil and trouble, it's like, you know, like like really good creative gold genius. But it's it's like creative gold towards your life. Like it doesn't have to be actual, you know, penning the next great novel or anything like that. But it's about looking at your life creatively. I'm, I'm hearing that book, um, oh my gosh. What's it called? It's by Elizabeth Gilbert, and it's called Big Magic, I believe it's called. There's something in that book for you guys. It's uh, the work wants to be made, and it wants to be made through you. That is a really good book, book recommendation for y'all. Also, you know, at the bottom of the deck here, I want to take this. I, I, it's been peeking out at me. I feel like it's for y'all too, especially because I saw the, the ocean imagery of the turtle. And this is interesting because this is Cancerian energy popping up in your reading. I feel like I always feel water energy around you guys whenever I read for you guys. Um, you know, you likely know that, that water and earth, you know, go well together. They feed each other. They understand each other, just like air and fire do inherently, right? You know, the turtle is about your home being wherever you are because the, the turtle carries its home on its back, right? So there's something to this and about being happy wherever your feet happen to be planted at any given point in time. You know, the turtle also takes its time getting to where it's going, which is another way of saying that it enjoys getting to where it's going, that it, it really is about the journey and not the destination, okay? So your animal energy is that of the lamb. So this is really stunning and beautiful. This is that uh, that Christ consciousness love, that unconditional love, of earth energy here for my beautiful earth signs here. You know, this is that beautiful childlike energy of there's a lack of judgment, there's a softening, there's an inner peace and harmony, and looking at things from the perspective of I am going to love like I've never known hurt before. I'm going to love myself and see myself not through the lens of a critical eye, but that of an all loving creator. Whoa. You guys are, you know, I'm just gonna say it. It feels very like Buddha or Ascended Master-esque. It, it, it just do though. Okay. Whew. Um, another thing I wanna say, 
You know, the veil is quite thin, it's been quite thin. Um, it, it won't necessarily remain as thin as it's been. <laughs> what am I, Dr. Seuss now? Um, but there's something about, I feel like a good group of you guys, if you ever feel like the shivers or the tingles, you just feel a little extra, you know, something, something, a little change in the density of the air. You know, I do feel like your loved ones uh, on the other side, those who have passed, I feel like you, you, you can take the opportunity to just feel them because they're they're really close with you. A lot of our loved ones on the other side of, are, are you know, it's kind of like Halloween in a way where the veil is a bit thinner and, and they're able to come and be with us, um, you know, a little bit more closely through the veil during this time. And it's not gonna stay that way. Uh, they'll always be around, but it, it's like, it's it's been like an extended Halloween in, in that particular context. So just putting that out there. Uh, dream time, when you're falling asleep and right when you're waking up, there's something in that for someone, okay? Messages you get, creative inspiration or you might you know just be thinking of someone when you go to sleep when you wake up it's passed on oh my god <laughs> what did i just say nine of swords look at this queen in a bed listen i literally this is literally what i just said though okay when you go to sleep and when you're waking up there's gold in that there is gold in that. I'm also hearing how you begin and end the day, like the bookends are going to um, direct and affect the outcome of the day before you and the next day. Interesting. Okay, so do you see how she's being depicted? So traditionally speaking, Nine of Swords is, is you know, dream time. It can be nightmares though, depending on the uh, context. Um, but but the, I'm going to tell you, you know what this is feeling like to me in this moment? It's really feeling like she is like, <sighs> wow. Like this is less of a, a you know, Dermon Strong, very angsty kind of position that I'm feeling from this queen and more of a, I'm going to come from a place of instinct and intuition and feeling rather than using my eyes to see things. I'm going to feel things out. Does that make sense? It's like she's closing her eyes to listen. That's weird, but I love it. Closing her eyes to listen. Doesn't that sound like some sort of like, um, like a uh, novel or so, or like a Lifetime movie or some sort of like Nora Roberts novel? Next on Lifetime, closing her eyes to listen. <laughs> That's what I'm getting though. I really like it, Virgo. It's like your mind is getting a much needed break. It's like I've done everything right in a certain way. And I've found that like, I'm in no better position than I was if I just enjoyed getting here. <laughs> you know what I mean? We do have the fool on the bottom of the deck, which is, a, which is a fresh brand new start. It also links up beautifully with the lamb energy. Remember, this is like a childlike energy, uh, not in an immature context, right? But, but more of a, a, a fresh, clean slate, I feel like is the point of this whole thing. Nine of swords to the nine of cups. Hello and goodbye. This is that wish fulfillment key. Okay, I'm just gonna point something out. Okay, see, remember, uh, you know, how I said how you begin and end your day is going to directly affect the day ahead of you and the next day to come? And so it's like she's closing her eyes to listen, right? Or however that came for this, closing her eyes to listen, which goes into the Nine of Cups, which is like, aha, uh -huh, feeling good where I am. You know, this is very much speaking to me, again, this water energy here with the Kokomo and get there fast and then we'll take it slow. Oh my God, and the turtle. We'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we want to go. Ready, set, and visualize. There's an opportunity before you to manifest things that you could only dream of. I, I know that sounds very dramatic and very like, like woo, but that's what I'm getting here, Virgo. There's something about this. It's like you can use this time, and I'm I'm getting a special message to keep some of this stuff to yourself, not to be secret, see your links like or anything, but just to let it brew and stew. Do you know how when you're cooking something, if you expose it, if you take the lid off the pot too soon or you open the oven too soon, it can either slow the cooking process or um, you know change it up because you're not giving it enough time to low boil. Um, for example, where I come from, we're into the low boils, you know, something about that. And you're feeling very sure and confident about what this is. There, if it, it's a very independent energy that I'm feeling here. Okay. Which doesn't mean that you're not surrounded by people, but it's almost as if you are so, you are 
sitting so securely in your own energy and feeling so good, it feels like a, like a new um, routine has happened uh, within and for you where you're letting each day inform itself to a certain extent and therefore finding each day more enjoyable. Instead of going, I have a list of things to do and get done and I have to take them off the list. I feel like you used to find enjoyment in that or at least purpose or at least some sort of like satisfaction, right? What can I control? I can control these things I, I, you know, on my list. But now it's really flipping. And you're like, actually, my new barometer of a successful day is how I feel during it and how well I sleep at night. Whoa, Virgos. Someone's about to change the world. Because they're changing their own world first. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. So... I, I'm really loving this. So traditionally speaking, these are things of everything of the 3D, right? Everything that we can see and touch and feel and, and discern, in a, you know, in a real, you know, 3D sort of way. It's interesting. So, you know, these two folks right here that are chained together, these are the lovers from the lovers card, right? Which is Gemini energy, which is about choices and love. So the devil can speak of feeling chained or bound or that our choices are limited. And we know right? That that is not the reality at any given point in time. What I'm feeling with this intuitively for you guys, because look at how this is storyboarding. Look at how this is storyboarding. Closing your eyes to listen, right? Feeling your way through each day, right? Really stepping into a place where you're, the barometer of if, how successful your day was, was if you enjoyed it. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Which, and you're, you're, you're dreaming up, you know, how can I keep these good feelings going as life transitions to a semblance of schedule that it, that it was before, right? Before things changed, right? Which leads you into a devil territory of, wow, now I'm back in the 3D world and land and I'm feeling like, how can I hold on to and retain those feel good feelings when I didn't let my schedule or my to-do list inform how successful my day was, right? I feel like you're committing to doing things differently and there's this feeling of wanting to hold on to, right? It's that wanting to hold on to these feelings that you're stepping into in this month and I really like it, Nine of Swords. Okay, the Chariots. This is the second time Cancer has come up in your reading so you could definitely have Cancerians around you um, and I'm obsessed with that. You know, traditionally speaking, this is fast, forward-moving, balanced energy, right? Look at the stars here. I'm really much drawn. I'm really drawn to the stars here. Stars are about wish fulfillment, right? And then you have the nine of cups here coming up. So, the fact that this is clarifying, I think this is exactly what I already said in terms of you know, you're closing your eyes to listen. You, how you begin and end each day informs the quality and, and how the day feels with and for you. And that it's a process of moving towards a reality that is deeply and actually, you know, actually rooted, right? Feasibly rooted in wish fulfillment in your ideal life and existence. Okay, I'm seeing something very specific. And um, you don't have to have seen the show, but it's, it's what they're showing me. So I'll explain it. There's a show called uh, King of the Hill. It's an animated show that used to run on, um, I don't know, I think it was Fox or something. Anyway. So, uh, do we have some Southerners watching this? I just, I feel like I'm, I'm back in the South a little bit. Um, so in that show, there was a character named Khan, and Khan did everything right. Khan was definitely a Virgo darling. So he did everything right. He got to work every day on time. He paid all of his bills on time. He, he, he ate three balanced meals and never stepped outside of the lines, right? Never colored outside of lines, never stepped outside of lines. Then one day he loses his job and he completely goes the other way and he's like, oh my God, I lost my job. He stops paying his bills. He starts partying all that. He just completely goes to the opposite end of the spectrum. And they're showing me that right now. There might be some of you, and I do not feel like this is a lasting influence, but I'm saying what might happen around this, because the chariot is an extreme energy as well, is you might come out of this, you know, be moving into a place where you're like, Everything was this certain way. I never stepped outside of lines. I used everything right. And then everything changed and I have no control over it. 
and now I'm gonna go the complete opposite way and suddenly I'm having trouble like getting out of bed or I, but it's not having trouble getting out of bed. It's, it, let's reframe that. It's not having trouble getting out of bed. It's like I've gotten out of bed at the same time for so long and gone about my business and taskmastered myself, devil is taskmaster energy as well, that now I'm gonna allow myself to lay in bed until you know noon o'clock drinking my coffee and watching a show or journaling or reading or FaceTiming my mom, you know, or whatever. It's, it's this complete flip and change where you're like, I'm enjoying life. So in that extreme energy, don't be hard on yourself around it. I feel like you are uh, making up for lost time around that. Like allow yourself to feel those extremes, right? In that context, even if it's like eating cookies, like in the morning, like however this like, you know, comes up for you, right? It's like, oh my God, like, I'm going to eat cookies. I'm going to eat carbs, like, on a weekday. Allow yourself to go there for a little bit so that you can recalibrate back to the middle in a new reality. It's like flip-flop back to the middle ground of, of this reimagined uh, reality that suits this, you know, new energy moving forward in your world, right? And you're going to have a much better time. Well, by the way, on the interior... Um, Bottom of the deck, here's the Empress. Uh, again, with this crown of stars, okay? I feel like you're being asked, like, what do, if, if, if time and money were no object, how would you spend your time? What would you do? You're being asked to really sit with that right now because on the other side of what's going on right now, because we are moving out of these energies, things are shifting and changing, and the chariot isn't moving. I could tell you, if I had to, if I had to tell you like what the collective energy is right now, like for everybody, it's the chariot. This has been coming up for me in meditation, I don't know, every day. <laughs> so, the, the, so just keep that in mind, okay? The three of cups here. This is good times with fr more water energy here. This is reunions, good time with friends, getting together. There's no social distancing going on here, yeah, darlings. Um, but this is this is you know reaping that harvest with those grapes here as well. You know I'm getting the Bacchus vibe as well because the devil kind of looks like a Bacchus. So Bacchus was the um, you know Greek god of partying and wine and the feel goods. This is exactly what I was saying with the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment, and the Three of Cups, allowing yourself to indulge in, you know, chatting with your with your friends more, you know, FaceTiming all day, you know, um, not sticking to a to-do list and just spending the day watching, you know, funny movies or romantic comedies or, you know, um, journal prompts or coloring or whatever that is. Allowing yourself to really sit in those energies. And again, it really feels like you are conning it up in the way where it's like no I'm, I'm actually gonna like again the success of my day how successful my day was is not determined by what I got done but how I felt during it that's kind of amazing the devil I feel like by your birthday season your life is going to look very different and for the better and I think it might I think it might like honestly surprise you Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nine of cups again. Okay, look at how he's eating. Is that a roast chicken with potatoes and all the trimmings? <laughs> I might be slightly, slightly hungry with this reading, <laughs> this food imagery. So this is the second time you've got nine of cups, which is with wish fulfillment. They're also pointing out that nine of swords, nine of cups, and then nine of cups again. I was just talking about your birthday season. So um, some of you guys are born in late August, but the majority of you guys are born in the ninth month of the year, which is September. So I, I'm really hearing that, again, look at this indulgence with the devil. Allow yourself those 3D pleasures. Allow yourself to go there because this time is not always gonna be here. And I, I have a feeling you guys are the first um, reading of this round of May videos, and I have a very distinct feeling that this is going to be a theme. <laughs> to like take this time and and I wanna say like, like use it well, but for y'all, I wanna say like, like don't use anything, just, just, just like don't use it well like like do like in terms of like air quote like like how is time well spent I feel like that's what you're asking yourself and you're looking at things very differently and going I'm gonna let myself indulge in the pleasures of life I'm gonna let myself enjoy my life in a in a more fully realized way I also feel like you guys are going to come out of this I feel like you might start getting some really good ideas creative ideas for new apps or businesses or um something about that 
uh, creatively, you're, you're getting these new ideas. The reason that these idea these ideas were always in your atmosphere and always wanted to come to you, but they couldn't get through because you were always so busy. So it's like allowing yourself to indulge in a moment to moment uh, way and letting the day inform itself is putting you in this beautiful place of receptivity where some genius ideas and some really great stuff is coming to you, right? And, and it's because you're in a place where you slow down long enough to listen and receive it, right? Let's get uh, Animal Oracle for you guys. Wow, Virgo. Really love this. <laughs> Gorilla piece. Let's talk about this because I can't with this. And it's actually lighting up the lamb really beautifully. Okay. Okay. So remember when I said in the meditation that I saw you sitting on a beach and it was like, we'll get there fast and we'll take it slow. Kokomo, it's where we want to go. Um, do you see this gorilla looking out at this like snowy expanse? Actually, you see in the clouds. He's in the clouds looking down at the galaxy. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's beautiful. So I feel like this is exactly what this feels like for you guys. So let's talk about gorilla energy though for a moment. Gorilla energy embodies the truth as Brene Brown says. I, I'm just like feeling the South in this reading. Brene Brown is from Texas. I'm just feeling it. But also, okay, they're telling me that the, the point of the South thing is that Southerners in the South are known in part for things being at a slower pace down there. Okay, it, it is, take it from me. It's slower pace, back to the turtle, going at your own pace. So Brene Brown says that true vulnerability, true vulnerability, or that, I'm sorry, true strength is vulnerability. True strength is vulnerability. So, you know, the gorilla understands that he can like, he can uh, dismember, disable, and, and conquer anyone anytime that he wants to, right, in a fight or whatever have you but that he understands or she understands that the true strength is understanding when to restrain oneself and not restrain in like a negative way, but when to hold back and, and when to exhibit, um, you know, mercy. Back to this lamb here too and this idea of, of mercy and patience and treating oneself with kindness and without, you know, judgment, right? I see, look at how buff this gorilla is. I honestly see you guys taking this time to really gain a whole new perspective in the going slow. And I feel like when you, when things, you know, are picking up again with this chariot energy, it's like you're going to be able to retain within you all of the lessons and beauty that this going slow gave you. And I, it really feels like you're going to insist on never quite going as fast again. Because you're understanding that like, wow, I missed a lot going at that certain speed or ascribing to a certain timeline or or setting my alarm for a certain time so that I could get extra work done before I got to work on my actual work day and then I I mean that's what it is it's like uh, really allowing each day that the barometer of how successful your day was was did I enjoy it I can't tell you how amazing this reading feels and I'm completely obsessed for you, Virgo, for real. This is really, really good. And look at how strong, I also wanna point out this, uh, gorillas also hold within them ancestor energy, ancestral ties. Can you see that um, ancestral looking mask here? This primal mask? Because I also wanted to say like in your meditation, it was a return to the primal state, where if you think about it, pre-industrial revolution, there was no like, I'll meet you at 12 o'clock at the watering hole. It was like the, each day was a new mystery and you never knew what it was going to hold. Right? Remember when I said that the veil was thin and that your ancestors, the ones who crossed over to the other side are right there with you, especially you maybe can feel them a little more uh, keenly when you go to sleep and right as you're waking up. And then we have the ancestral uh, animal energy here with the gorilla as well. So you can derive strength from your ancestors and just really feel them around you at this time, okay? My beautiful Virgos, this was your video for the month of May. I am sending you so much love and blessings. I, this is beautiful. I really hope that this helped and resonated. If so, please let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love that. And with that being said, just thank you so much for being here. And as always, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.